All right, raise your hand if you've ever heard of innovation. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's been about two and a half hours here, but we're good to go. Um, first of all, uh, we have our quotes from Bill Gates up there. It's already been read off, but um, just to reiterate um, that one right there, he said, never before in history has innovation um, been a promise to so many in such a short time. And the first thing I'd like to speak about here is Procter & Gamble, and a couple people have mentioned Procter & Gamble because A.G. Laffley, um, the CEO of Procter & Gamble, wrote the book called Game Changer, but I'm going to go into more detail about what exactly his company has done to be innovative. Um, and I think probably first and foremost, the most important thing to understand is Procter & Gamble is a huge company. They have products um, from IMS, Tide, uh, Bounty, uh, Pretty much almost all of your household items are Procter & Gamble um, products. And Procter & Gamble realized that they had a, a kind of an issue in late 2007 when they realized that some of their small one-name competitors, um, their sales were rising and Procter & Gamble had kind of stayed flatlined. And you know, as a, as a business person, it was Laffley's job to figure out what he can do to still add value to his products and make money for his shareholders. Um, so he had 7,500 researchers on staff for Procter & Gamble, and their sole job was to sit there and think of ideas to either improve upon current products, fix problems with current products, or come up with new products. And it was just stale and stagnant and boring. Nothing was happening. So Laffley got his team together, and they came up with the idea of connect and develop. Um, and the way this works is on Procter & Gamble's website, you can go and uh, Procter & Gamble has made a list of all of their products and issues that they have with their products that they are looking at fixing. And what they did is the, through Connect and Develop, you go on and anybody in this room can do it. You can just put in your, your uh, email address and create a password and look at what their problems are. And if you have a solution to it, you can submit that solution. And if they use it, um, you'll be rewarded for it monetarily. Um, so Connect and Develop worked really well for Procter & Gamble because they went from 7,500 paid employees to over 1.5 million unpaid thinkers. Now, Connect and Develop in itself is innovation. I mean, we've sat here and heard definition after definition of innovation, but I think in an applied form, um, Connect and Develop is innovation. It's, it's what, what can we do to either improve upon a product, add value to an uh, existing product, or create a new one altogether. And, um, a great example of that um, would be, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. Uh, a great example of, of that within Procter & Gamble is what they did with their sustainability in the environmental aspect of it. And they, um, in 2008, they kind of released a report of where they were um, with their environmental uh, impact on the world around them. And uh, since 2002, they kind of created with, um, through some of their own different uh, workings or whatever, but they decided that they needed to cut some costs. Um, their average total cost was high, and it was just costly. And, and as a result, their shareholders weren't getting as much of a return as they could have otherwise. So they kind of set for, themsel for themselves some standards to lower their costs. And a great way to go about this was by going green, which sounds great in the marketing world as well. And um, in 2008, they lowered their water usage costs by 8%, their total energy costs by 7%, their carbon emissions by 6%, and saved over 21% in costs, just operating costs. In the past six years, since 2002, when they implemented these ideas, they saved 51% cost um, just on whatever it takes for them to open up their building and turn the lights on. So great idea with that one. Um, just another quick... Um, uh, another quick example would be Disney. Um, Walt Disney kind of had a dream of, you know, creating a magical world uh, that was kind of unheard of before. And I'm not a huge Disney fan myself, but it's kind of interesting when you realize that he has people on staff that are called Imagineers. Like, it's their job just to sit there and think abstractly. So, um, again, just another great way that innovation is being applied today. The Inter website is something that Felix and Liz have created um, to kind of get students excited about innovation. And I'll be 100% honest with you. I knew what innovation was before this class. Um, I didn't really care. I mean, like, it's just one of those things, like, you know what it means when heard in a sentence. But um, after getting on the website and kind of seeing some things, 
um, I got what Felix was trying to get. I mean, after after really researching Procter & Gamble, Disney, 3M, um, Google, Apple, a couple of these really big companies, it gets you excited because it makes you think like, you know, we're all in college right now, but give it another three years, uh, am I gonna have the next great idea? Am I gonna be the next Bill Gates? Am I gonna be the person that has that idea? And I like to think so. But I would also like to think that any of you can as well. And if you don't feel confident uh, with your innovating skills, this, that was Felix's idea here with the website, was that we can get on, get through some simple modules, and maybe the modules themselves don't teach us how to be innovative, but they kind of spur you on. I mean, um, uh, one of the modules was with the cloud and writing a story or whatever, and it was like, okay, that didn't really excite me, but I mean, in my stupid little cartoon-minded head here, uh, I had quite a few things going on, and it's just, I think that was the point, just kind of to spur us on and give us a little kick out the door. Um, but it, being innovative also adds a, a, a bit of differentiation between yourself and someone else who might be applying for the job. Um, myself, if I'm applying for the same job as Joe Smo, and we have the same credentials, same college, same grades and everything, um, you know, we might look exactly the same on paper, but when it comes down to it, if I'm more innovative, if I have an active imagination and I have a dream and a goal for the company, um, I'm going to be a better fit for it. Um, the good that we saw in the website um, was it think, thinking outside the box. And just like I said before, am I going to have the next great idea because it's all too easy just to go to work, do your paperwork, you know, send it out, make your phone calls, and go home and get your paycheck. That's all too easy. Thinking outside the box, what can we do to make the world a better place and think outside the business realm even. I mean, um, Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Um, you know, Henry Ford with the car. These are things that were just kind of out there before. It's outside the box. I mean, what are we going to have next? Are we going to have flying cars? Am, am I going to be able to talk to my sister in California without even having to pick up a phone? Like, is there just, you know, what can we do? What can we do differently? Smart cars, can they drive themselves, set the speed limit, know the road, know the conditions? Um, ice, snow, whatever, and drive themselves. I mean, there's just thinking outside the box. It's just, you know, boundless imagination. Um, we like the website because it added value. It's practical. You can sit down. You can use it. Students can use it. Teachers can use it. Just like everybody else has said, pretty much anybody can sit down and use it. Um, and it's practical. It works, and it's appliable. And then um, my favorite module is the EQ test just because I think that's something that we can all use and be a, and, and um, apply it to our daily lives right now. The UQ test was the emotional quotient or the emotional intelligence test, which basically showed you how are you going to react um, to a situation. So am I going to get angry? I work in the food and bev business, and I get a lot of angry customers. So how am I going to react back to that? And you know, taking the EQ test, it showed me a couple areas that I can work on. I'm not a really a patient person. Um, so sitting here for two and a half hours was a struggle for me. but. We're good to go, you know. I mean, it's just the EQ test was just one of those modules that I can learn from, and um, there's quite a few. I think everybody's going to be able to find a module that they can learn from. All right, all right. Now to the bad. Um, uh, something we've heard already: fix the glitches. Um, oh, fix the glitches. Everybody, uh, the journals. Everybody know we've talked about this before. You know, the journals didn't work that well. Um, we didn't know if it would go in. We didn't know if it would work. So that's one thing we'd like to fix. Uh, dislikes. Um, some of the modules that we did weren't flexible enough. Uh, there was one with the, uh, it was like an iceberg. Do you guys remember that one? The iceberg. There was an iceberg. You had to put words up above, words below, whatever you felt, you know, went where. And uh, one thing we didn't like is, is if something that you, you put in there to you made sense, but according to the, the interwebsite didn't work, it didn't, it didn't make sense. So um, we think sometimes maybe you're over innovatively, you know, you know what I mean? Like yourself. So, so I, think, I think if it was more flexible, um, and it would explain to you why it, it put those words where it put it. So I think that'd be important. Um, now, when you say the bad, you have to tell why what what you think would be good um, to fix fix mainly um, not just not just the modules themselves and what you're going to do with the modules, but I think talking to Felix a few times, I've talked to him, and uh, we've sat down, and the passion that he has for innovation is the main thing that we need to put into this website. Not just, not, not just oh, how can we make these modules more fun for everyone, exciting, whatever. It, it's the passion he has for the project. And uh, I think that's one thing that's really important for this. So 
All right. Uh, one thing that nobody's really talked about yet, which is impressive out of all these, m these groups we've heard, I don't know, 10, whatever, um, is how does this actually link to us as a person nowadays? Nobody's talked about that yet. This is, this is what people want to know about. How, does this, how am I going to be able to use this now in my life? Um, one thing I'm excited about, I think, uh, in your personal life, relationships. Okay, we all have relationships, men, women, whatever, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, one thing, it, it keeps the flame in a relationship. Um, come home, you, you made a nice, beautiful dinner for your wife. That right there is innovation. Be creative, you know. Your wife will love you at least for another week. You know, we know women. So uh, it, it's, it's exciting, you know. I mean, that's, that's something that's good for us. Our relationships will be, be furthered, and uh, I think more people will fall in love with innovation. I think it's a good thing. Um, one, one slogan we thought, our quote was uh, important. We thought, today I'm better than yesterday, and tomorrow I'll be even better. Um, this is something that uh, it, it captures the very essence of what is innovation. Not only can we use it um, outside of our personal self, but as a person um, inside of ourselves. Be more innovative. It'll make ourselves a better person. Um, and, and again, if you're, you're not a good person yourself and more innovative yourself, how can you be in business and stuff like that? So. Uh, student life. Uh, this is all of us now. This is important. Um, it, always, uh, it allows a student to change the way they study. This is important. We all need to know that the, you know, some of us study and what we get C's. We study really hard, yay, but we get C's. That's not good. You know, that's not what we want. We want to be able to walk into school, know that we studied really hard and did more innovative things and got an A. So um, I think y y you study better, you'll be more innovative, you can come up with better things. If it's as small as highlighting in your book, I mean, you know, some people don't do that. Be more innovative, highlight, yay, you get an A. Good, okay? Um, it also enables a student to be more creative. Um, a few projects I've done, uh, we made a poster for this project. Um, we've done some things for other classes um, that have gotten me that better grade to step above other people. And uh, for our class, we were the only group that dressed up, but obviously we all had competition today, so that was good. Um, but being more creative, doing other things uh, for projects is important in your student life. Work or job. Um, your work or your job is what you have now. Um, we're going through college. We're, it's paying the bills. You know, we're doing what we want to do. But it, um, it's a step before you get your career. Uh, innovation can help you to create a more enjoyable working environment for yourself. Um, as you're at your job, you know, um, personal experience myself, I work at a gymnastics place, teach kids how to flip and tumble every day. Um, it gets boring. You know, they're little kids. You don't, you don't want to do that all the time. You know, you do it for two and a half years, and you're kind of bored. So. Uh, Going through the inner website and talking to Felix about innovation got me more excited. I would go to work and come up with different things for the kids to do. And uh, not only myself did I have more fun and enjoy my job, um, so did the kids. You know, they enjoyed it more too. So, and they, they could tell when I switched it up. So it's a good thing. So um, that's your work life. Now your career, where we all want to be. Um, I like this. Unsatisfied workers take it to freedom. Um, a lot of people go to college for four, six years, eight years. You know, you can go for a long time. Um, and you get that great job, and you sit there for 30 years, and you get the same bill, or you get the same, you know, paycheck, and uh, you retire, and what'd you do? Nothing. You know, you, a lot of people do that. They get bored, and they just sit there, and um, innovation's your ticket to freedom. It lets you, you do better in your career. It uh, lets you step up the ladder and become better, and um, as the next part says, promotions and raises. I mean, you, you get the promotion, you get the raises, and you'll be uh, much more successful in your career. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank you guys for your time. I know a lot of us have sat here for a long time, but just to leave you with some, um, just my, my final thought was I, I really think that uh, Felix's idea here with innovation um, is beneficial to us as students, and it provides a service to us that really we can't find anywhere else. Um, I know for myself, I'm a business major, and it's one of those things that I'm kind of scared looking into the future um, just because I don't know. I mean, can I be just as book smart as the next guy? But innovation is just one of these things that Felix has really opened my mind to, and my eyes to, and it, it makes me realize that, you know, I can be different than the next guy. And it, you know, I just, I would really like to see it as a class. I'd love to take the class. And I know that pretty much everybody in here that presented did a great job, and we'd all really like to see um, this go somewhere. So, again, thank you for your time, um, and enjoy your evening. Yeah, I have one more thing to say, too. Um, <laughs> I just want to keep talking. Um, the one thing I thought, last final thought for me, is uh, with the innovative project, or the project that we did with Inter, um, it was probably the first project I could think of since middle school, since I was coloring 
stuff, you know, that I actually got excited about to do in college, got excited to do about after high school. I mean, you know, you have all these projects that teachers want you to do, and they, you're doing it because of what? Because you want a good grade. This is the first project I think I did that I actually felt like it was improving my life and felt like I could actually, you know, put it toward my future and toward my career. And um, I think through the intro process, I think everybody who does this, and once it gets picked up, I think it would uh, be able to do that for everyone else too. So thanks a lot.